Safety does not carry. I'm going to go ahead and be able to pop my opponent right up the middle of the scene for one play time. This is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. Guys, I'm going to be focusing on non-meta this year, Madden 22. A lot of people still running the same stuff from the previous Maddens, and I want to try to expand your playbook. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also that notification icon, because you're going to basically get a lot of unique tips and strategies that are going to help you take your game to the next level and provide depth. So I want to talk about a uh, a passing concept. It's a universal concept, but this is a passing concept that you can use to help you score more times and really force your opponent, uh, pop your opponent for some big plays. Now, uh, I found this particular style uh, out of this, uh, out of this, sh the run and a shoot playbook, in particular out of the pistol playbook, and there's a money play that I use, which is the 60 slide. This has got a very unique slot route, which actually will get right down the seam and actually give you an opportunity for a one play touchdown. Now, really, if you've got three wide receivers off to the right, um, this is going to give you, even this play smash is going to work uh, essentially the same. Actually, you know what? We're going to take a look at Smash, and then we're going to build off from there. And uh, once again, this is going to be a cover three beater. Whenever I see cover three, if I see a single high safety, I'm going to immediately jump into this play, this concept, because essentially it's going to allow me to go ahead and attack my opponent for a big play down the middle of the field. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch Goodman. I'm going to watch to see what happens with him. And if the safety does not carry, I'm going to go ahead and be able to pop my opponent right up the middle of the seam for a one play touchdown. So this is such an easy read, and all you're really going to do is you're going to watch a safety, and if the safety gets themselves out of position, typically what happens with spacing, with zone, the zone alignments, these guys actually have to move and take get into their space, and it's going to allow this seam play for a one-play touch-in opportunity where you can go house with it. Now, the smash play is a really good play, but uh, it's not necessarily the best one. Uh, actually, I find that this particular play, which is the 60 slide, is a better version of this cover three seam beater. Uh, and I like to set up a certain way so I have options in case my opponent starts making manual adjustments or takes away that streak route. So what I like to do is I like to take the outside receiver, Bird, I want to put him on a curl route, and then I'm going to take Robinson on the backside and put him either on a slant or an in route. That gives me a check down over the middle. But I'm still going to be looking a good one, and as you can see right here, he's still going to be available for that big play opportunity for a one-play touchdown. Now the reason I set this up too is because I want to be able to provide another area of the field to go uh, to hit if my opponent tries to take away that streak. And that's why I have the, the in underneath too, because that if he, if he chases a streak, I can actually hit that in over, uh, underneath it too. So anytime I see a three high shell, I'm gonna go to this route immediately and go ahead and pop my opponent for 20 yards, you know, 50 yards or a one play touchdown. Uh, with this uh, this concept and you don't have to do it in this particular playbook you can use any other type of formation so let me go ahead and show you on how this concept can be in your playbook too so if you go to uh, basically gun uh, you can you can use a spread formation but let's just go ahead and take a look at a very common formation five wide trips or basically five wide five wide receivers is very common to see and all you want to do is take the trip side uh, to the wide side of the field and basically go ahead and run that play from there. So once again, this is smash concept, very popular against, against basically uh, a cover three shell. That defender will just slide right out. So what makes this a great play and a great concept to throw into your scheme, it's going to force your opponent to have to go ahead and take away uh, those, those, uh, that, that route right in the middle of the field and makes it very difficult for him to go ahead and compensate for that. So he's going to have to chase that. And basically what you can do is you can have uh, routes that complement that seam route 
Um, and just it's very, very difficult to stop. So guys, this is something I've thrown into my scheme. You can easily throw it into your scheme. All you really need is basically three wide receivers that are off the off the line of, uh, of the offensive or offensive line, and the spacing's nice and spaced out, and you're going to be able to go ahead and, 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 and basically pop the seam against your opponent too. So once again, guys, if you like these type of tips, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button, and I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So thank you for your support, guys. Until next time.